but I did that, and then I put them in this bowl, but there's a lot yeah. of water in it, and I don't want, like, yeah. I don't want to upset the microwave's tummy, you know? So, like, do you think I should dry what it? What the fuck are you- <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Ryan Sierra, and I'm here with my lovely, lovely guest, Smalls Noodle. And we're gonna try something out a little new today. Um... <laughs> Almost sounds like I said nudity. <laughs> that would that would be <laughs> inappropriate. Um, YouTube, welcome to so too many balls. No. Smalls noodle. Can you say? Um, tell me one thing you like about balls. Uh, they squishy. Fuck my ass. Um, that's what's up. Uh, a good squishy ball is how a real man plays sports. You know. Yeah, that's um, why they invented cricket, right? Yeah, yeah, because the balls are squishy in cricket. They're definitely not, like, hard. Well, I don't know what, how to play cricket. I'm not English. <laughs> Isn't it, like, Australian or some crap? No, oh, my it, God. It started in it started in England, and then it carried over. You're thinking of rugby. I think rub, rugby was started in... Anyway, Australia. Too Many Balls is a series where we're going to move over, migrate over, Too Many Casts, and the lovely discussions, and we talk about things while playing video games. We, we, we have lots of diatribes and discussions while playing video games that have balls in them. So if you know a video game with balls in it, such as FIFA, FIFA. or um, FIFA or, or Mazda, uh, for no race car games or FIFA. Um, FIFA, yo, FIFA sounds like a, a pet name. Is it not? FIFA. Oh, FIFA stole my shoes. FIFA, did you pee in my shoes again? FIFA what sounds would like you... a chihuahua. Yeah. Um, what would you name a pet? If you had a pet, what would you name a pet? <laughs> Discussion number one. <laughs> um, let's see. What would I name him? Mr. Pickles. Okay, I have a question for you. Why the Mr.? Why do people like this? Uh, because I think it makes him look regal. Why are you already trying to assign gender, though? He's an animal. Let him be free. <laughs> it's genderphobic. I don't think that's right. Mr. Mr. is such a weird name. Um, no, it's not what, even what the full spelling of Mr. It's just M-R. Yeah, exactly. Even weirder! <laughs> is that not weird? No, it's Mr. Pickles. My cat's name is Mr. Pickles. Yeah. It's oh Mr. my god. Pickles. Oh my god. It's like from Futurama. I see Wiener from the first episode. Oh yeah, we still have to finish that series, by the way. Yeah. What's your favorite Futurama episode? Fuck me. Hold on. Did you already? What's die? your favorite Futurama? No, I mean I've died a million times. What's your uh, favorite Futurama episode? Oh my god, there's a few of them. Um, so one of my favorite is when they do their version of the Titanic, but it's in space. Yeah. Um, and Bender, like, falls in love for an episode and isn't selfish. Uh, and then he, you know, is at the end. My other favorite one is when, um, Leela thinks she's found another... So this is currently when Leela thinks that she's an alien. This is before she knows she's a mutant. Yeah. Um, but she thinks she found another person of her quote-unquote alien race. And she meets this guy in like a... It was a, like a VR world, but before it was technically known as VR. You know, like how we know it. Um, oh, it's yeah. A lot, it's a lot more like personal um so she meets this guy in this gaming vr thing where you can also go to like you can disguise yourself and go to like you know adult only chats and stuff and that's where like bender ends up going into and fry and stuff um but leela and leela and amy go into this chat and they're like hey we're looking for um quote unquote this type of dude and stereotypically you see a bunch of nerds in there who are afraid to talk to Leela because, you know, she's supposed to be a strong woman. Uh, stereotype. Um, and so she ends up leaving, 
but the guy who is quote unquote supposed to be part of the alien race um sees doesn't doesn't see of seeing like I don't know like it's a very interesting episode um like he ends up you end up finding out that he's an alien that can shift you know like he's a shapeshifter but alien form oh. um Plot and twist. he was Starfish. trying to marry yeah he was trying to like marry all these different alien races um and so he <laughs> so he had like a suit that could like interchange and so he had like a whole bunch of like uh, weddings on the same day. Um, Ooh, don't do that. That gets you apparently arrested for for life in Japan. Yeah, well, you know, don't do that. Don't defraud people. Um, <laughs> defraud? But, you mean defraud? Uh, defraud. Let's see. Another favorite episode of mine is when um, it's kind of tragic in a way. But it's when Fry is supposed to go with uh, Leela. Hate it. Um, hate it. Hate it. And I suck. Anyway. <laughs> and they're supposed to be dating, and so he's supposed to go to like her birthday dinner. But because he is on an in because the professor and Bender got him in this time ship, he's quote unquote late, and so you know she's yes! kind of like the rest of her life, you know, oh, kind of mad at him. But he ends up coming back to her. Yeah. Um, and then that one's good. And then the other one is uh, when he proposes to her. Oh, and the D and D episode, the well, the quote unquote game episodes. Um. But yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sorry, I I love this show. I know a lot of people like probably don't like it, and would probably like just go to The Simpsons since they're like the same. They stem from the same creators. Or they would go to like Family Guy or whatever. But I feel yeah, like yeah. Futurama set the curse for shows like Duncanville and Archer. You know, like they were able, they were like that stepping stone to where like you could create shows like Archer and Duncanville and a lot of other adult animation shows that have a similar style to it. Yeah. So, goodness, uh, you dropped a lot there. Yeah, um, so... What the, what the hell is that? Okay. Oh, Bolly. Um, what did you do? Oh, son of a Bollywood actress. So, um... You think Futurama really set the precedent for, like, a lot of these other adult cartoon shows? Well, I mean, if you look at it, right? Because, like, you obviously have... <laughs> You also yep. have two different, like, sets of adult shows. You have shows that are more comedic and more based on character. So you have those, like, Bob's Burgers, Archer, Duncanville, Futurama, right? And then you have one... Level. And then you have ones that are more, like, you know, physical comedy. So you have those where it's, like, Family Guy, American Dad... Yeah, a lot of slaps, slap, a lot of slapped dick, you could say. Yeah, a lot of slap humor, a lot of like, oh, the dad is distant, the mom is quote unquote doesn't have an actual job, the family's actually messed up. Whereas like ones that are like Futurama are funny, go serious yeah. and go character in depth and go back to comedy without like making it boring. Whereas, like, if an American Dad episode tried to do that very same thing, it wouldn't really go off well, because the next episode, it'd be like, nothing happened. Yeah, because there's, like, no, there's no storyline. Yeah, so, How like, do you mean there's a distinction with storyline versus, like, non-storyline? <laughs> well, know. it's there's that, but it's also, like, in Archer, um, Archer's, like, clearly obvious, like, parental issues are a remaining issue like as long as the show runs you know like yeah. it's not just one episode you show like you talk about Mallory and him and the fact that he grew up without a dad like, hole in like, one baby ooh I said congrats thank you thank you um but yeah like as we you Get, in each Archer episode, you talk of you end up talking about his like Sweet issues, Christ. whether it's like you know 
comedic or like in a more serious fashion. Whereas like in Family Guy, you only get one episode about like um Peter's dad was like really abusive growing up, but it's played for laughs. About the whole like Peter's dad is like abusive thing is I thought that they were always making a commentary on how Peter's dad was very religious. Because well, yeah, wasn't he but... like very religious? Yeah, he was religious, but you could also see how he was- it was very traumatizing. Yes. You see how, like, Peter, like, how he regards, like, the church and, you know... Like, he's not- like, it's more of a gag to him than it's like... Or he takes it overwhelmingly serious. Like, there's no in-between with him. Yeah. In terms of- yeah. and so that's a clear Now, I have not watched Family Guy in so long. Me neither. <laughs> But like, I don't American know. Like, Dad, I feel like is so much smarter and, than than Family oh Guy. Oh no, it is. And sometimes, you know, it's very careful on how it like portrays that. Like, and there are things that do stick, you know, with American Dad. But it's more of like, there's a lot more physical gags Shit! and more like anyway. comedy gags than in so than in like shows like, yes. um, Futurama and Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Or BoJack Horseman is also, I guess, a good... Oh my god, BoJack Horseman is... Dude, that... I miss when people like that show. Whatever happened? The consensus is so... Everyone hates it now. No, I'm kidding. Um, no, I, it's just, so it ended at season five or six. Yeah, bro. I'm just, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Um, so, like... What in the world? So I, when I was like a few few years ago, I had recalled that um, Bojack Horseman was was kind of like the smart man's uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, um, it definitely is better than Rick and Morty, and so yeah, many Rick yeah. and Morty fans get mad when you say that. Yeah. Um, but it's like, here's the thing. It's a dramedy, I feel like. It's much more of a dramedy than Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty tries as best as it can all the time to go, like, nuts to butts like comedy. Yeah. And Rick and, and uh, Bojack Horseman, I think, is a dramedy, right? Like, it's kind of like... Mm. Okay, mm. I would say this. Uh, here, here's a quick little quick little comparison, and you could say yay or nay. Bojack okay. Horseman is much more like Scrubs than, um, let's say, uh, Rick and Morty. Would you agree or disagree? Uh, based on what I remember from Scrubs, I would say yeah. Um, yeah. but here's the thing, um, when you compare Rick and Morty and Bojack Horseman, um, Rick and Morty likes to introduce dramatic plots, so like, uh, Morty's uncle being, um, an alcoholic distant scientist dad who's crazy and obviously has messed up his daughter, you know? And, like, they tried to do, do this, like, weird family where, like, the eldest teen daughter is rebel trying to be rebellious, and the dad, the husband dad, is clueless and trying to help, and the wife is unhappy. You know, they try to... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Now go on. I'm fucking fuck shit, babe. Anyway. Oh my god. Um, so they try to do that. They try to do that, but they end up leaning towards more comedy and more like, as you said, like balls to the walls, like outlandish and ridiculous like concepts. Whereas like in Bojack Horseman, there's already an outlandish con like concept. Like animals exist and can talk and can walk. And, and, and can fuck and can sock, you know what I'm saying? No, but like, they're sentient in a way that humans recognize, you know? Yeah, As there's this being... level of world building to Bojack that's so like, it's so human and adorable yeah. and also like heavy. Yeah. So, so it's more, they're more humanoid creatures than they are animals, but like, in Bojack, the thing is, is Bojack's behavior is never, like, excused, but there's always an explanation. Like, when he does shitty things, people call him out for it, and he has to work for their, like, you know, to get further, he has to, like, 
yeah, apologize. I yeah. Um, but like when like uh, Rick does something, you know, it's just oh, he's our crazy grandfather, you know. Oh, I really pissed he, the bed on that one. He's distant. Yeah, so I agree that like there's like consequences, right? Is like the important word here. Like there's consequences in BoJack. And in Rick and Morty, I feel like they don't like consequences too much in that show. Um, Bojack.